Hi, it's JJ DiGeronimo, the President of Purposeful Woman, and I'm here with Tracy McBride from T. McBee, Image Consultant and Wardrobe Stylist. Hi, Tracy. Hi, JJ. Good to see you again. Yes, I'm loving these tips, although for some people like me that it's sometimes hard to color block and get all this in there, how do you streamline your daily routine? Good question, and many times women need help. It is hard to be objective about yourself, your body, your strengths, the things you're not so crazy about, how to layer colors and mix prints. There's an enormous amount of detail. But just like redoing your home, go through it and very strategically put things back where they belong. And that's with your wardrobe too. Shopping is not the first step like a lot of women do is they just go shopping thinking they're gonna fix it. So my advice is it's really about developing an entire wardrobe that supports your life. Meaning you have all the appropriate clothes. So many times when I interview women, they'll say, I have all these clothes, Tracy, but I don't feel they're appropriate mm -hmm. for this situation or that situation in my life. So I always feel less confident than I know I could be, but I don't know how to do it, pull it together. So it is about streamlining things, making it easier so it is easy to get dressed. So it means lookbooks that, you know, a professional provides. For instance, that gal is a traveler. So that's her red travel collage. And those are all the things that m mix into multitude of many, many, many outfits. And those items mix with other things that are in her closet. So it is about learning to pack easily and strategically so that you're prepared for whatever trips are coming up, especially if they're work related and they have a little fun in there too, women get stuck. Solution would be about taking an inventory of your closet, really being mindful of how every single item in your closet fits, mm -hmm. the style, is it current, is it flattering you, is it who you want to communicate that you are, the fabric, the color. Is it an authentic representation of yourself? What's everything in your closet? And I'm talking jewelry, shoes, everything. And that is something that is so much easier to do with a professional helping you say, yay, nay, yay, nay, and really helping you through that process, giving you permission to let go of things that really aren't doing the right things for your body. And it's about building a layering wardrobe that you could take a t-shirt and dress it up and make it an awesome outfit and I'll give you an example here on the mannequin it's taking a jacket that's been that has classic details that are still very current although this jacket is easily six years old but it has the classic details with the button-down collar taking a classic vintage scarf that's a leopard that's more fun but teaming it with something not boring white or cream like so many women will but here you'll notice i have it with an awesome green so this stands on its own if even if you didn't want to take it into the boardroom you take this off and now you're relatable to a client so say you're an insurance agent or you're a financial planner and you need to wear the jacket when you're at the office but when you're going to a client's home you take the jacket off and you're relatable but still very polished and professional. Yeah. What a world of difference. I love it. I think, Tracy, you provide so many valuable tips. I know firsthand you've been in my closet numerous times and really this is why it's important for me to share this with other women. And if they're not near to you, you can Skype with them. You've Skyped Absolutely. in so many closets. And I think a lot of women just need help and, get, and they need permission to let go of stuff that maybe costs too much or they thought looked good for a long time, but now their body type has changed. And so we really appreciate these videos and really empowering women to look their best self. Right. We're evolving. So our wardrobe needs to evolve. Embrace that. I love it. Thank you again, Tracy.